Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Tuesday, March 1st. Police are investigating a deadly shooting in Philadelphia's Strawberry Mansion neighborhood. It happened early this morning along the 3400 block of West Huntington Street. Police tell us they found the 35-year-old victim lying in the street with a gunshot wound to her head. Three houses were also hit by that gunfire. Further north in the city, police say a woman driving on Roosevelt Boulevard is lucky to be alive after being grazed by a stray bullet. The 35-year-old woman was hit in the back of her head in Olney. Police say she was alert and able to talk with detectives. So far, there have been no arrests. And a state of emergency in Delaware that was declared because of the pandemic. That's set to end at 6 this evening. That means masks will no longer be required in schools as well as child care facilities and on buses. Also so as of 11.59 p.m. last night, vaccine and testing requirements expire for educators as well as state employees. Now for a check of our forecast, meteorologist Larissa Bray is standing by with the details. Good morning, Larissa. Good morning, Janelle. We are off to a quiet start on this March 1st. Conditions remain quiet, cloudy, and milder. And that'll be the case as we approach the afternoon. 52 degrees, breezy at times with winds out of the south ranging between 5 and 10 miles an hour. By tonight, we'll be watching an area of disturbed weather that will generate a few light snow showers up towards the Poconos. These snow showers won't amount to much. And then as we head towards Wednesday night, here we go again with a cold front dragging through the region that will generate colder air. And, of course, we will see a little bit of precip out of this. This is Thursday, 4 a.m. in the morning, light snow up towards the Poconos. Areas of light rain out towards the Lehigh Valley at that time, closer to Philly by 8 a.m. We'll see a few of those showers exit at 10 a.m. Seven-day forecast shows today, tomorrow, we're milder. That cold front brings in colder air Thursday. Day Friday, and then we're back up for the weekend with temperatures soaring into the 60s on Sunday. Not bad, Larissa. Thank you for that. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Tuesday.